Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, Sun, well Monday evening. Uh, it is March 8, 2021 to date, 9 p.m. West Coast time. Latest quake on the globe was a 4.8 out there around the Puerto Rico region. Downgraded by the folks there at the USGS to a 4.5 magnitude earthquake. Still pretty good uptick in the magnitude level out there in the Puerto Rico area. Uh, just doing a real quick uh, update tonight. Not going to cover a whole lot, but we'll take a look at the latest earthquake out there in Puerto Rico, a 4.5. Like I said, downgraded from a 4.8. Well northeast of the area uh, that we have seen uh, you know, quite a bit of swarming take place. Let's go ahead and bring this down to the all magnitudes. Been some ongoing swarming for many months now in this area, the Puerto Rico area. This newer earthquake here is something to watch. Uh, at about 55 kilometers below the surface and it's uh, like I said a ways away from the swarming activity so it's something new something to watch pretty closely as we get towards the Puerto Rico trench area and that's an area uh, of, of potential capability of producing a pretty significant earthquake I'll include uh, the video I've done on this uh, a few months back and about the uh, potential mega quake possibility out there. I'll include that at the end of this video as a link. Uh, so go ahead and check that out uh, if you uh, want to or if you haven't seen it already. West Coast region real quick looking uh, fairly <coughs> fairly active. See if I can get through this without losing my, my voice here. Still feeling not too great. Uh, Southern Cal, a little bit of earthquake activity out there. 1.6 south of El Monte. Um, some regional quakes here around the uh, Mammoth Lakes region. Actually a little increase compared to what we have been seeing right around the uh, Long Valley Super Volcano. A little cluster of quakes down here near the uh, volcano, volcanic tableland area outside of there. Uh, pretty shallow quakes for the most part. And uh, for the most part up here in the north part. A little bit of uh, movement along the Idaho area. S uh, migrating, if you will, towards the Yellowstone area. Um, and some more earthquake activity up here uh, around Mount St. Helens and into the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Yellowstone activity shows, well, a couple small quakes kicking off there. We could, uh, actually it kind of looks like we're seeing a little swarming going on in the southwest corner of the park. You can see those uh, spikes there indicating that movement on the Yellowstone graphs. Also some movement here uh, around the central area of Yellowstone National Park as well. Uh, that's been continuing, or that's been ongoing for uh, a few days now. You can see that movement up there as well. As uh, far as any major quakes go, none at the moment. Pretty quiet. Looking at the trimmer map of the Cascadia subduction zone shows just about 19 epicenters into northern Oregon and parts of northern California. Uh, not a whole lot of movement there. Uh, checking the... Movement out in the Pacific, still seeing some aftershocks. No doubt that's going to continue for quite some time. Quite a few fives and fours and many, many more underneath that magnitude um, out there along the Kermadec Trench area north. Uh, Kermadec Trench, I or, uh, <laughs> Kermadec Islands, New Zealand area. Spit it out. Um, still seeing uh, quite a bit of aftershock activity. No major movement. A little new quake out here around the Greece area. 4.8 struck uh, just about 15 minutes or so prior to this 4.5 in Puerto Rico. Um, in Iceland, still seeing some activity, folks. Uh, even though the USGS is not showing it, it's definitely still occurring out there. Um, in one of their uh, websites here, the Iceland Volcano websites, uh, you can pop up some earthquakes over the last 48 hours. Get a pretty good general idea of what's going on out there. And I know there's other maps out there that can show you the uh, enormous amount of uh, magnitudes that have taken place out here. But it looks as though it looks as though things are calming down for the most part just lately. We've not seen a huge increase in earthquake activity um, in the Iceland area, which is good news for now. But still keeping a close eye on that uh, very, very closely. All right, folks, we're out of here. Uh, i got to cut it short tonight. I hope everyone has a good night. Uh, please stay safe out there, and um, we'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.